Hello. Today, we're going to take a look at how to edit and modify the event view in TrueSight Operations Management. Let's get started. As you can see, I've logged into my TrueSight Operations Management console with an administrative privilege. This will give me the permissions I need to be able to edit my events view. We're going to use the navigation pane and go to monitoring and select events. And that will bring us to our default event view. And you can see here that I do have a bunch of events coming in from my monitoring endpoints. In fact, I have 53,000 current events. I might need to do a little event cleanup when I'm done with this tutorial. But I've narrowed down my view and I'm only looking at a small subset. We can also see that the default columns that are visible in the event view from a basic installation are visible. Some status information, the date and time that the event occurred, the host name, and a message. But you may want to change this view and add some additional slots or fields as they're known with BMC products. You may want to add some additional ones um, that are more relevant to you in what you're doing in your particular tasks. So let's see how we do that. If we hit the first ellipsis next to the events row, you can see that we get a variety of selections available to us. The one we're interested right now is the edit table view. If I hit edit table view, we can see the exact slots we were just looking at. Notice that some of them are gray and they're not changeable or removable. We could reorder them, but we can't take them away from the view. But as you can see, we can add some additional columns. So if I hit add column, you can see that we can narrow down by the event class. I certainly recommend looking at the documentation to learn more about the event classes for all the events. There's a great deal of information to learn and it's very powerful to understand the different classes and the different columns and slots associated with each one. In this particular case, I'd like to add more information about my ITDA or IT data analytics events. So to narrow down my searching, I'm gonna to try to search by ITDA to see if I can find it. And I sure can. <clears throat> and there you have it, IT data analytics event. I'm going to select that. And based on that selection, there are different slots that I can add to my view. Notice that I already have the host slot is, is already being included in my view. So there's no point in adding that additionally. But there's many other things that I could add that might be relevant to my particular tasking in my role. So I'm going to add I'd like to know what search generated the event. I'd like to see if there's any tags associated with that particular search. I'm going to take a look at the condition value. And let's also put in the search query and see if there's some information that might be relevant to us. We can go ahead and add those. And if we wanted to, we could add additional slots as well. But in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and add those slots. And you can see that I now have them here. We can even reorder them by moving them up and down if we like. All right, so now we've moved our, our class and our status up. And when we're done, we should see a different order to our events. Now all we have to do is hit done. That will take us back to our event view. And you can see that our columns have been reordered. Right? The status is now in front of the host. And if I scroll to the right, we can see that I now have my ITDA related columns in my view. My first few events are not related to ITDA, but if I scroll down, we now see that I do in fact have my ITDA Apache events showing up, but now I have the additional information that I was looking for, including the search name that generated the particular event. I can set this as my default view, as well as my landing page if I'd like to. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.